that. And for Danny, now she's going to have the support of Davina watching on as they hope that MIBR can overcome Furia. Very passive pistol from MIBR. Looking to all group up towards A eventually. Bit of a split in through mid. Two players round through connector. He comes over and that's caused Gabs to run forward and jump on over straight into two T's and no one's hitting their shots one for one. Danny with the bomb fighting car, but Car's dual Beretta's absolutely destroyed, but it's Babs. On the pistol, who's been everything for them. As she only finds one as well. And Babs, how is she so good with the Glock? It just feels like she just wins every fight she takes on these pistol rounds. And it's left a car to clutch again. And it's not going to be the ace if she pulls it off. They know she's here. Kisses rounding around through T-spawn to provide a, a backstab. But the fight's coming forward. Car is sensing something. She senses Babs, but Babs is on another level on these pistols. I'm easily going to just go out and say on a limb from the three maps I've seen that Babs is the best pistol player in South America. I'm just going to lay down that law and I'm going to apply it and hopefully it reigns true for the rest of the season. But how many multi kills does she get in these pistol rounds? It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'll be honest, Gabs really oversteps the mark there. And it's a shame because that's a really common pistol round to run. You throw a smoke top connector, you get two players that walk under pass, try and take the mid space and try and catch that exact timing. If you don't see anything and then you see that connector smoke fly in at the top, you know there's going to be players under pass. So that is a, a slight oversight. But ultimately, car dropping the bomb, Furia scrambling to rotate over in time. They just get met with devastation all at the hands of Babs. A great maneuver from Car to push towards Rampant and even finding the bomb by itself definitely could have got out of hand. Oh, Car thought she had a good position and it was until it was set on fire. He's just going to jump into the stack and get herself a couple of kills with the Mac, but only a couple. At the back of that, they're going to go to A. Xena is still here. If she can find herself a cheeky little kill. No, Danny's going to run on through. She's going to keep on running. Picked up Mac 10. Could be a bit damaging. Yeah, nice little bait setup. Let's kill into the Mac 10, which isn't too bad at all. That's a, a small little consolation prize. Good utility from MIBR again. And even throwing the gun out the map. Just caretaker duties for Babs. She even cleans up his right at the very end. Just making sure there's definitely no upgrades available. And good just posturing from MIBR in that round. Just recognizing that they're going to be on an eco furia. They want to get the guns in as soon as possible. So you send the MAC-10 in, set up with a flashbang. You find out, hey, guess what? There is a stack on B. So now you just immediately reset and you avoid it entirely. I'm just going to straight up execute onto A. I don't mind I like it at all. Yeah, this is good. That you're just, you know, there's going to be an investment. So rather than just try and go for a default, you're just going to immediately execute onto the site. You're trying to overwhelm with numbers. There's going to be limited utility here as well for Furia. Execute comes on through over the top. They go, but it's a little bit stuck and a little bit slow. That smoke is causing problems. It's dropped into the middle. Great flames go forward. Xenia fights through them and finds a kill. Trade is there from Furzy. Space now being taken up. Resmoke through to Connector. Is there is dancing around through them, looking for some sort of gap. She's been tagged, but it's not deterred her at all. Tucks into the corner. They're past. Ooh, Furzy on the other side. This is pretty freaky. Is there is walked by. But surely they're going to run into each other any moment now. Isla comes over the top, and now they know that she's here. Furzy can swing on through. Kizza catches Gabs. And Car up over the top of Ticket can't find anything. No, you're kind of committed with Gabby. You don't have a kid. You've got two players that are still fought on the side. Yeah, you're going to hit one with Car, but she can't even get out. Babs is ready to close the door. Hey, she straight to her face. Fury are going to leave with nothing, it looks like. This car can find a gap to escape through, but with time ticking on down, you feel like she's just done for. I don't think she gets out of this. No. Yeah. 
I, I gotta be honest, on, on maps, MIBR are comfortable in, you can tell how much they've drilled T sides. And just understanding just kind of the macro of the game, it is really cool to see, especially from a team that is so young, average age of 22 and a half years old. Like, it, it's really, it's really amazing to kind of see that the investment's gonna come in from Furia. They're going to prioritize weaponry. There's not going to be too much utility. Whilst there was a smoke in the middle of the site that provided complications, there's so much layering of util that MIBR can put down that ultimately Fear are always going to be at a disadvantage. Forward flashbangs set to try and allow the 5.7s to deny the bomb, but it's not happening. Gab's up close. We'll find Babs. Every round also feels like a tongue twister. As the AK yeah. will be picked up. <laughs> so the Babs says Gab's, or it's Iza versus Kiza. Gabs and Gabby as well, just on the same team. Interestingly enough, the stack hasn't moved. As soon as I say that, it starts to move. Never mind. That's classic stack business, that. Yeah? The MIVRs. <laughs> the MIVRs. <laughs> They're still committed to A. Danny's top mid. She'll come through late. Your AK is, is active over on the side of the map. Gabby spotted out. Zena tucked in. We should be clear in this position. Gabs is spotting. She's desperate for a fight. She knows that she can really have a, a big impact here. Zena gets spammed and tagged. But still an opportunity for a moment. Gabs got spammed out as well, and that was truly the chance and maybe i'm wrong maybe gabby's got something to say that's the bomb dropped still needs to be planted and they're just gonna punch it on in no car is walking around the corner this got weird this got really weird kiss is gonna swing on through car has the perfect line and in front is danny it's a 1v1 car oh my god tapping on the fadeaway how if furia won that and my in decision Quite, quite simply, the slowdown was really good initially to be able to get these kills, but it's the double on the 5-7 from Izza that really opens the door to this round. In fact, it's Gabby, one of the players with the pistols, but from Carr, this second shot knows that time is running low, wants to back into the corner to deny and make sure there can't be a bomb plant, have to run down this player with the limited time available. Carr denies her the luxury. What a round for MIBR to win. Insane. Oh. Flick almost connects. Now you know that orbs in play. MIBR are a breaking point. They should not have lost that round. It was against pistols. They, they got the two players on side that could have caused damage, but they didn't factor in Gabby charging on in. Danny held for. And she lurks out mid. Had a good timing. A kiss is found, is there? There's that tongue twister again. Oh, that one doesn't quite go where they hoped. That's a heavy lean to be. Look at this space from Bazinia. She's got all of ramp. They know, Furia. It has to be a B play or a mid split, which is why Carr's just repositioning. But she's in a position where she can rotate quite fast. Early utility being dropped. Gabs is a great angle on the van to grab one or at least some info. There it is. It's the latter. But now MOBR just trying to escalate onto the bomb site. Utility flowing in. Gabby at the back of the bomb site will find one in tandem with Gabs. And she holds strong. Really important kills found by Furia. Babs has got no idea which way to look. It's too difficult. And there's that rotation from Carr. Yeah, that one, unfortunately, falls flat for MIBR. Lack of utility when they just kind of had to commit on through and Furia could just find their fights with ease. They had a lot of space in towards mid early and at least they were able to kind of go one for one for the kills, but there was such a strong presence towards B thanks to Xenia's information gathering on A. That's now put MIBR onto the full eco. Rio can start to get this CT side rolling. Just gonna try and get the bomb down on towards the A bomb site. There's also that missed smoke, right? An underpass, because it completely just blocked them from actually taking mid. So unfortunate, but. It's kind of how it be sometimes. 
yet again patient plays. MIB are hoping that Fuhrer extend very much like they did on the CT side of Overpass. This time, no dice. No util. A pure contact play with this split. Car will definitely get the first and then just tuck in behind Ticket. This is a fine round to play, the, the, this setup, by the way. Having the AWP over here on Ecos. It's fine because it frees up the rifles to be a bit more flexible. And also, you've got the safety net of just tucking behind cover. Nice kill. They jump on out. Bazzini tucked in. Springs up like a jack-in-the-box there and gets four. Nice little swivel for the final one. And again, surviving one HP. I feel like any time the Fury player is in a multi-kill situation, the, the last kill they always survive with one HP. See that one back again. Those three are really nice, and then a quick swing onto the final one. I'll be honest, Bazinia's a bit of an eco warrior. Like, every map, she's had at least, like, three multi-kills on eco rounds. It's not her fault, but it's just, it's kind of where the stats are being inflated a little bit. So I can relate to that. I feel like that's, everyone loves an eco frag. True. Donkin Danny, the blame F of Bazinia. Has walked down mid free. Fury are happy to give this space up early. That's very apparent. Oh, that's uh, an interesting smoke drop for Gabs because that means you have to go in towards window if you want to utilize it. Great counter utility, by the way, being thrown and supported by jungle. Bazzini are full blind, and MIBR are going to be given the, the grace of the bomb site. It's going to have to be a retake effort from Fury. Tika's still fighting forward, drops her a smoke to even get further aggressive if she wants to. And another smoke thrown in towards Palace, and Bazzini has found the gap, but only good for one. Good damage onto Danny. Gab's able to finish the job. Now Gabby's just going to slip in. Maybe deny the bomb. No, Fuzzy is able to plant it, and Gabby sneaks around, finds her kill. Car gets one as well. They know where Babs is. This one's furious round. She knows she can't contest it. Just hold onto the AK, something into the next. That's the main thing. I really like the way the Fury approached that. It, I thought it was a bit aggressive from Bazinia, but she knew exactly what she was doing. She dropped the smoke, but notice how she didn't instantly just walk into the bomb site. She waited to see if there was a reaction from Palace. She had a look over the top of Triple Box, couldn't see anything, and that's where she made her move. And where it wasn't instantaneous, MIBR were not ready for it. Also, the fact that Gabs is staying in the incendiary over at Jungle just to guarantee further info and the kill onto Danny is everything. Very good trades out of Furia. That's tactical from MIBR. They are going to have a, a buy here. Babs could, could drop one as well. But they are... Okay, I feel like you could have got a pretty convincing buy, but I think they really want that AWP onto Furzy and maybe a bit more of the utility that's been lacking. So many of these rounds they've played on this T side uh, since they, they lost to the pistols, where it's just been rifles and then like a piece of utility each. Yeah, it hasn't felt comfortable. And MIBR are a team that rely a lot on utility to set themselves up for these kills in the initial. So prioritization on that is a must. And you're right, Fursy kind of being reacquainted with the AWP be a good sign and a good feeling for MIBR. They do take middle, yet again, it's another element of where Furia concede the space. MIBR are allowed to feel like they're comfortable, but it's just what they can do with it off the back of it. A boost in towards the window, Kizza drops off the utility, jumps in with the Tech 9. Izza has to be aware because Gabs can't cover this. First, he's going to walk around and first he domes Gabs. Babs finds Gabby as well. Kizza is actually dealt with by Izza eventually, and Car on the site still keeping control on B as he finds another. Car is coming alive, and Izza from long range, one for one. Puts it now into a one versus one, and Fursy groups around and is aware, but Bazina wins out the fight. That one felt like MIBR were going to find a way to make those pistols work, but couldn't quite close Car too strong. Bazinia there for the killing blow. As soon as you see Car elevated at the apartments, there should be like a fanning out of short. 
for MYBR. Instead, they go one for one. These are really good entries. It's just such a shame they can't capitalize off the back of it. They know that Bazzini is that A player, dedicated to anchoring down the bomb site. So ro rotations will come from middle or deep from CT. Good heads up play from MYBR, but they're just not able to win out these gunfights. There's Furzy. And that's in her presence. She's got the sniper in play. Fires off a shot towards B apartments, but no kill found. Pulls back. Just to reset with the util. So do a, a whole full set of, of smokes. In fact, that's a, a double smoke towards connectors. So maybe a bit of a miscom there. But they still managed to establish the control. Last smoke gets deployed in towards short. In fact, actually in towards the ladder room. Journey sets up a flashbang and they are just going to be hitting onto B, trying to split through, but with Carl's positioning, oh sorry, Isa's positioning, she can get involved very early. So it'll be three players to deal with. Gabby ahead of the Molotov and again, it's a double up. She's still safe for one. No, can't quite find the kill. And Danny with two to open it up. Isa steps in, but Babs is there. And finally, MIBR breakthrough. Yeah, honestly, really surprised that works at MIBR. But this time they're all on the same page and coordinated. No smokes for the execute though feels a, a little bit risky. And again, the miscommunication when it comes to the double molly in towards Van. Could have been a different piece of utility. Could have been a flashbang out the window, but it still works because they've got good trade space in. And they've even left a journey in towards mid to kind of cut off rotations. Bazinia just left wanting. Has to hold on to this sniper. MIBR are keeping it competitive. Fury will still have a... Nice investment into the next, but MIBR can claw back into this T side after letting Furia run rampant for five. And yeah, the decision just to wait an extra round to get all the utility out, despite a couple of missed pieces. Well, the, the double, the double smoke, the double molly, as you mentioned, it still helps substantially with the actual XD. You can see the confidence in their scaling was uh, apparent. Double up for Furia, in fact. Okay. This is quite cool. This is an immediate adjustment that's been made. They want to just really just go with the style of play that they've been producing, which is conceding a lot of control early and just anchoring down bomb sites and relying on the individuals to step up when required. Gabby might get an early fight here at the B Apartments, Babs. Potentially. Oh, about to walk into the angle. That's nervy. Pulls out the incendiary. Forces the hand of Gabby. Meanwhile, we're mid. A complete collapse from Furia. Two kills for the price of one. This accelerates the play for MIBR. Straight into B. Gabby on the angle, but it's Gabs up short. The dynamic duo will at least survive for a little bit longer. They're not ready for Gabs whatsoever. Furia this time hold the B execute to perfection. <laughs> No, it was so unlucky for Gabby, right? For then it just didn't matter. <laughs> I thought she was going to get pounced on immediately and the secondary orb not even really needed it all because Gab steps up for a triple kill. We're just playing around short. She, she, I think she was maybe uh, up on towards either ladder or, or kind of on the, the railing and found the player underpass while her teammate was fighting down towards uh, catwalk. Forced in MIBR's hand and they fall flat car with the opening kill as they go ahead of the smoke and she wants some more. I get it. Sure. Beautiful on the Furzy. That's what was needed. Just aggression out of car. I said it would take one of the orbs to really dictate the pace and now for Kizza, the adventure into the murder hole before wasn't a success and car might kind of give us a little bit of a flavor as to why it is eloquently named so. Holding the window, just waiting patiently. Now has a, a little bit of a jiggle in towards Palace. Don't think she spotted anyone, but that scope would have been heard by Kizza. You can see immediately Kizza's mentioned the open play in window. So she's unlikely to budge. That should be the late activation. This is going to be relying on Babs and Danny to make their way out. And he's going to come group up in towards ramp. Car goes on a little bit of a looky-loo. Doesn't see anything. 
Now she can focus back in. This is all being heard by Kizza. I wonder at what moment she decides to strike and it's actually going to be this exact moment. She knows Kara is no longer in the window and she can maybe find her own window of opportunity. And there it is. Patience rewarded. Kizza gets one. Fab starts to walk on out, finds hers. And there's still another player though. That still is her, unaccounted for. And she's found both. She might have done it all. A flashbang over doesn't quite stop Kizza. Bomb to be planted, just about getting it down. She's being run down though. Gabby's able to find the kill and yeah, that extra element of Izza doing everything. Yeah, you got to give real credit there to Izza because she could have swung on the palace kill. She didn't. She could have swung on the ramp kind of contacts from MIBR. She doesn't. She knows the time is so low. If she guarantees the bomb being dropped at a bare minimum, that imp greatly improves Furious' chances of getting this round. This all started with Car finding these couple of kills with the AWP to make it easier. MIBR do really well to put themselves in a position where they, they get the, the bomb down in the first place. They're able to breach the bomb site, but is a, just that unknown element that really is everything. Fairly painful half for my BR. Considering how it started, and how it might end. Good trade. Cargo is looking to see if there's any other opportunities for kills, and she is being mobile. Mentioned how important that is. It's definitely been a stark difference to her presence. Uh, they want to, once again, try out the A-bomb site. And it might work. However, Bazinia is yet again taking good space in towards ramp. Just clearing it out. Nisca around the corner. They drop onto her. Babs hits the headshot. And this creates opportunity. Is is going to be so worried about a potential flanking connector. That means that Car needs to step in with this AWP and stare at it. Should have the kill and she does of course she does and that means that Iza can go up and over the stairs Iza with two yet again providing multiple kills but Babs hits another headshot a one versus one but she is such low HP if she can reposition oh she's his car just the head she's found a little spot that she can tuck on into manages to escape to Tetris car is she going to be aware of this reposition? It's no. a tough one to be considering. Definitely keeping an eye on the angle. The smoke, though, gave so much cover. And, oh, has she been spotted? Jump on over. Babs continues just to play around the corners. The car's sticking. Car's sticking. Car's sticking. And Babs can't find her. Furia, find eight at the half.
Experience just outclassing MIBR at the moment. Impactful multi kills from Izza right at the tail end of the half. Almost seals the fate for MIBR. But look, now they're on the defense and they have to try and defend against Furia's attack. Pistol rounds present new opportunities. Babs is a bit of a pistol pistol player. You know? True. I've seen some pretty cool stuff from her so far. So expecting further cool stuff. Big fans, cool stuff here. They're onto the A bomb site. Babs, cool stuff, gets a kill. Oh, and more. How does she keep doing it? Every single time. She's insane. And now it's Gavs, who's known and is so disconnected from the bomb and from everything. Need a need a start after the game. Oh, Ooh. nice shot. Okay, hang on. Hold your horses. Put your babs back in the basket. One on two. Right now for Gabs. She spots the first. But she's been very vocal. They know exactly where she is. They can just pin and lock her out. Being whittled down consistently by all this damage. And it, of course, who else? Who else but Babs? Another headshot. Right, new. No, not not for this not for this series, because there's gonna be a, a little bit of pressure on you to find that. But I, I wanna know, by the end of ESL Impact, the, the regular season, how many pistol kills Babs is gonna get? Because it is at least like a multi-kill every pistol. It's insane. Oh, not quite. Oh. We're blind as well. Should, should just be a clean up. Should be it's fine. All good. All good. No stress Easy. at all. Bomb bomb. Oh, nice. okay. Well, that, hey, it's the classic uh, bomb goes through palace and everyone else goes somewhere else. So you know what? That's a, that's a dub. Yeah, huge dub. Uh, that's more money. That's more pieces of utility. That's potentially an AWP armor for Car if she wants it. And let's be honest, she probably does. No, okay. Alright, we're gonna have five AKs against the bonus from MIBR. They're getting aggressive. The MP9, the FAMAS, and I like this. Very early on, it's four players over here. They need to rotate someone quickly. Uh, Furzy, someone needs to go. Well, they're playing retake. Babs is the only one over the side of the map. That's crazy smoke they threw. It missed. It was supposed to land ah. uh, a little bit more shallower and towards top mid, but Danny still finds the kill onto Gabs. Bombsite overwhelmed for Furia. But it's uh, a little bit of a difficult ask for them to hold on to the offspawn. Look at how quickly MIBR has scaled back. They got the utility as well. Bazinia on the edge of this smoke can potentially deal with Furzy, but she is playing with death. One player guaranteed locked in the spam, but the headshot prevails for Bazinia. Yes, found us damage. Danny's sitting on the other side. Bazinia's just playing around the edge of it. Danny's going to walk on through. Bazinia ducks back. Oh, and Danny spots out one in the palace. The DP is just coming through. It's just being stuck. And I think that damage... Oh, no, it's not quite enough. Another kill for Kizza. Needs to find the bomb. She just walks straight on through. She taps it and she's sticking it this time too. Izza surely should just be able to spam her. Ah, oh, no way. The ninja defuses go both ways. Kizza able to steal that one away. Even the grenade landing on the smoke, blowing it open, but Kizza drops a flashbang at around the two and a half second mark. It completely explodes in the face. Furia cannot find the bomb diffuser, so she steals the round right under their nose. That was always the intention for MIBR. 
Ray Charlie was always there trying to lock it in. Furia knocked off the bomb diffuser at the first time of asking, but couldn't prevail on the second. That's a big robbery for MIBR to pick up. By the way, where is this currently standing as she just moved? That's where that smoke should have landed in the previous round. Hmm. 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 Very cool, B Dog. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Bezzy on the angle, not seeing anything. And that means that potentially players can stick around at A and also rotate over to short if required. Uh, a Furia, they're going to run it right back. It nearly worked. So why not try it again? This time there's a lot of MIBR players over here. Last time it was just Babs playing passive, but now they've got two players in the side. They've got two towards kind of the jungle window window area. Nice little blow in the smoke. Isa is dinked early. So now she can't be quite as threatening on her lurk. Maybe she still can be. She's very close here, but the hit's coming on through. Bazzini found the first Danny dealt with by Gabby, and they just pounce on the side. So much distraction caused by Izzo. A journey is still an unknown element, and the bomb is denied. Fursey finds a line to hit with the orb. Kissa gets one as well, and you've still got a player in the back lines, but Fursey is hitting shots. And the AWP is doing everything. Finally, her journey gets to strike. Mazzinia has to clutch up. Good, nice little taps on through, but she has to reload. And the swing is perfect. Even crossing to the bomb is going to be so difficult. She can't quite get it done. Yeah, I'll be honest. That blow on the smoke was really risky for MIBR uh, with Danny swinging that. Because, sure, MIBR gained the inf intel that is as in connector, but it goes both ways. Furia are able to try and extract themselves kind of out of ramp onto that bomb site. They find the opening kills, but also it's a double-edged sword because they they don't know about her Jani. And she's able just to survive as long as possible. It gives me Izza vibes over towards Sandwich. You bait the team, but the, the ultimate prize is the round win. That's exactly what they needed. Furia, take a pause. Just trying to collect themselves. Bomb not planted means the buy is a lot more difficult. They know... But the money's not great for MIBR. That's why they're forcing into this as well. You can get a little spooky. But yeah, I mean, it's, not, it's only like a halfy, right? So yeah. it's it's not that bad. And Fury could definitely steal something away with this. Again, they're going to be trying out A. They are, they are relentless with this A bomb site. Oh, to be fair, it has been working. It just feels like uh, a couple of pieces are just slightly missing, but it's not really kind of their fault. This smoke's cool, but Danny on the angle will confirm one kill, but Gabby overwhelms her and Babs. Suddenly, this bomb site is open, and at the third time of asking, it might be third time's the charm. How did Gabby get both those kills straight after each other? <laughs> they were completely opposite angles. Oh! Hang on. Oh, nearly. Oh, well, the kill does come through. 3v3, this is definitely on, but they're all retaking from the same position. So this setup from Furia feels strong in the post plant. Well, the Gabs just has the MP9. She's kind of stuck at the moment over towards the stairs, up towards Tetra. She goes, Kirza coming on over, is able to find her. So it's this double up. The journey just sticking on the bomb, just tapping it, just diffusing it, but Gabby able to find her through the smoke over the top car, just spamming and she's running out of bullets. Coming on through with the knife, looking for the kill, and it's again, again, an into defuse. Fursey getting away with it, and even with her life. This has got to be so frustrating for Furia. Like, mentally, this is taxing. And now MIBR take 30 seconds, and they let Furia sit in it. They let them ponder what is going wrong every single time. There's an opportunity to defuse. MIBR are taking it. And to be honest there, there was an M4 right at the base of car. She could have just swapped weapons. Instead, wants to go for the knife. Wants to rub salt in the wound. Also thinks it's the most effective thing to do in that situation. But they can't do it. Nine pandas fearless who? MIBR are the new queens of the ninja. Yeah, it's like revenge serve cold, right? Because of how, <laughs> how Furia ended um, the, the, the first half. I think it's when they got the ninja, right? It was yeah, yeah, yeah the, the very last one, car fighting that one. So it might be our game taking the lead. We get uh, the orp out on both sides as well. We get to see that head to head. 
We didn't really see Fuzzy get it at all on the T side. Control being taken. It might be our look forward in towards ramp and this is the early information gathering and I think with Fury it's conditioning over towards A. It's nice to see them taking a bit of initiative but they're not going any further. So they're committing these players here at some stage to take a look in and they have to do it soon because Fury are taking space. Really good call by Furia, by the way. They've been kind of conditioning MOBR into this A hit. Hey, we're going to go A. We're going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And this time, when it matters most, when MOBR just stack three players on the bomb site, it's a complete role reversal. Kizza stayed alive. It's massive here. Swing in the corner. Hey, Jani comes in with two massive kills. That's so essential. Hey, Jani just keeps on going. Three in the back of the bomb site for her, and she is not done yet. It's so uncomfortable for Fury to plant the bomb. Finally, Mazzinia tries to alleviate the pressure, but it's stamped back down on the neck by Danny. And Gabby thrown into this clutch. A one versus three. A kill immediately found. Remember, bomb still not down. Burden still on her. 35 seconds left. Needs to try and piece this one together. Both of MIBR have rotated through the market. Gabby closing the gap. Gabby round the corner. Nice shot. And even spots the second, but Danny's there to clean up. It's close, but not quite yet again for Furia. Nice attempt from Gabby, though. That first kill was clean onto Furzy and then straight into the marketplace. Feels like the opportunity is there. She sees the back of Danny, but a difficult kill. But this round was all her journey. What a sick 3K. Absolutely bails out her teammate. I think it was Babs. Oh, no, not Babs. Sorry, it was... Um, Get it doesn't up. matter. She, ba she bailed her out. It was sick. Oh, that one could have broken in my BR's back, but instead they again managed to just scrape through with one. Six rounds in a row for MIBR. Fury have not been able to put a blemish on that record on the T side. And whilst it is unfortunate, MIBR are just completely playing their own game. Fury have been unsuccessful in a lot of these afterplants. When it comes to the executes, it, it always feels like a case of nearly, but not quite. And MIBR will have this all day long. Economy is still very vulnerable for both teams. Lost bonus built up enough for Fury to go in again, but Furzy, the orb is uncontested and she's getting active very forward position she's going to get information they are definitely going to be poking on through here oh oh there it is car jumps up and fuzzy happily takes that one This is really good from MIBR. Just the way that they're varying up their default on the CT side is incredibly clean. And it keeps Furia guessing. Here we've had Furzy this time being aggressive in towards mid and she's completely given this space. Now she's rotating over towards A. And once again, it frees up your riflers to get a little bit more proactive. This setup is quite pivotal here on this B bomb site. Furia about to hit in. Are they ready for Kizzer on the balcony? She's ready for the fight, not flash. Tries to find the first. Oh, she's missing her shot, so a dink comes through, but it's not the kill. And her journey again needs to step up, but this time Bazinia comes around the corner. And immediately they just have to disconnect. Yep. The B bomb site hole crumbles to Fury up. Now it's with Fursy finding the opening kill through two players are so tantalizing low, so I don't know, they're kind of interested. Fursy even swaps to the AK. Yeah, they are going for this. She has the kit. A flashbang forward. They want to fight this. They want to find their way in. They don't want to give Fury a something. They don't want to give them anything. Danny and Gabby go one for one. Gabby's got all the HP and Gabby's the one that just needs to stand tall. A one versus one again. Surely, surely Fury will win this one out. The time isn't there for Babs and Gabby will find the kill. So important that Gabby stays alive and she's just got the most HP. Sweat off the brow moment for Fury. It's always been... The case of closing, MIBR have been so good. When this kill comes in from middle, that accelerates the play for MIBR to give this a look in. They knew damage was confirmed, but they weren't sure whether they could give it a go with their finances. They decided to all in. And as a result, despite them amassing a large number of rounds, it's not been in the cleanest amount of fashion. Fura have got a really good chance of resetting this economy and also taking the lead despite MIBR's heroics in this CT side. Yeah, I had the wrong call as well. Stack on B. 
not gonna be it. Straight out executing him towards A. Babs is gonna be here. All those 1v1s that might be R1. Might all end up being for nothing. So I've got a line up. No, she's just tucking, I think. I think MIBR hearing all of this, they just save all this for the next round. Give it another go. Unless... If I'm, yeah, I know you save this. Every day of the week you save this. What I was going to say is if I'm Izza, you've just shown your hand at the A-Execute again. And you know you've been able to get onto this bomb site round after round after round. If I'm Furia, and I'm not, but if I was, I'd call a default in this next round. Because you, you've heard some deagles, you know the money is going to be light, and that means that they've invested. Everyone is saving, they're not going for this. It's going to be exactly the same round as before. You throw in a default, you don't show the A play. As soon as the guns come back out again, that's where you go for that A execute once more. And that, I feel like that will be the success story. And that is a bold prediction, that's a long shot, because obviously I'm not in the server. But I feel like that is the key to success right now. Furia default this one and then go for the killing blow going back to the A bomb site when all the guns are reinvested for MIBR. Because they're not going to have the util to defend it again. MIBR just going to go for the same setup it looked like. Oh no, they are going to do it slightly different. And Furia, no, they're just going to hit A. No Fair default enough. for them. A is the answer. I'm telling you, A is the, the secret source to, to Furia winning this series. Certainly seem to recognize it. This time there's a few players here at least. A little tag on Tia is good and a follow-up one, but players dropping. Babs is considering playing around the smoke, but she's removed. Has to slide all the way back into connector. I wouldn't mind MIBR just stacking a site this round, given the propensity for Furio just to hit the site. But it looks like Furia are going to take the lead. Find their 11th. This is after MIBR, what, got six in a row? Yeah, six in a row. But because of the casualties just amounting to it, the amount of like one one BXs that MIBR won, the amount of ninjas that they were sticking. That's been the the killing the killing blow and almost the, the coup de gras of Furia. Kids are hoping to maybe make some money, not happening. So she'll back up. Furia back in the lead, something they're used to. And now for MIBR, you've made this journey. One step at a time. You've closed the gap. Equalize the score line. And now for them is once again just regaining the composure. If I'm Kizza, I drop the Mac 10 uh, and I just buy a rifle. It's not worth keeping this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they might fake A here. It looks like they're going to fake A with a util. Oh, MIBR, will they bite on it? They're very spread out this time. All the rifles. Yeah, you can see that the fake out about to be established and they're just going to hit onto B. Oh, Kizza. Kizza has to do so much here. Look at them. They're biting on it like nothing else, but there's no commitment. No commitment. Oh, Kizza's even rotated. It's nice. perfect from Furia. But Danny is going to catch the rotation. Ellie, no. That's everything. Kizza can try and get ahead of it, but she doesn't fight forward. They've got the advantage. Doesn't want to give up that kill early. So at least they know. It's a, a very late flank from Gabby over on A, so that's also something to consider. Whether that's helpful by Fursey. How patient is she? She's not going to find it. Danny gets Bazina. Gabby's late flank might not even be needed or might not be get, getting here in time. Gabs is low on the side, still finds the kill onto Danny. And is that tucked in towards the truck, a powerful position. Now that flank is going to be strong. Gabs falls, is that still alive, still kicking. And Gabby finds her kill. Now she's known, jumps on through the window. She's found another. The bomb tapped. Kizza runs on forward and hits her with the pistol. And MIBR will equalize. 
Furio just took way too long on that. All the rotates were there. The call. The ingenious behind Izza to condition A and then fake it out with the util. MIBR bit down so hard, but you got to give full credit to Danny because this kill unravels everything and even finds a follow-up onto Bazina. But the kill completely gives up the ghost. MIBR can rotate back away and the flank from Gabby, whilst it was a good attempt at the end, she was so disconnected from the entire pack. And you can see that that even delayed the bomb plant on the site. They wanted Gabby to be a little bit closer. Despite MIBR winning almost every round this half, Fury have the better buy and they have the entry. Gabby gets success at ramp. She spotted two as well, so that's information. Guess they're not budging this time. Deep Molly, well timed. Even a boost coming on through. Cars that are holding the angle of Kizza goes forward. Oh, it doesn't matter. Leg actually does come through, but she has a lot of damage. See the HE being dumped on through, the Molotov to follow, but no kill being found. And they're splitting on through short. Gabby's found another opening kill. Isa now accelerating in, but Kizza are able to find the kill. Xena dropped Kizza, had to reload, and it's all onto Danny. She can't get involved. Damage done onto two, but it's not enough. Furia to find map point. What a shame. Honestly, what a shame for MIBR. Danny yet again being proactive, taking space in ramp. Calls MIBR over to B. Nothing's there. The fact that Kizza even confirms intel. Is still not enough. And to fall at the last hurdle like this is so brutal. Because you know the money is going to be incredibly lacking here for MIBR. And they're going to even hunt Danny down. She's going to come out with absolutely nothing. Look at the finances for MIBR. This is surely the end of Furia. Have outlasted them. Oh, it's a brutal moment for MIBR after everything they've had to fall back, fight back into. This is a 8-4 half. Furia had such a dominant lead and they crawled their way back in. MIBR was six rounds in a row to bring us to equal footing. Furia at the tail end have just stepped it up a gear. The economy in shambles. MP9s come out to the fray. Pistols around them. Can MIBR force us to overtime? So that's what they have to do. They haven't got a kit either, so no ninja shenanigans. Ophiria are just going to run it into a default this time. Hejani underpass. This is the only line of defense on B. Look at the stack in towards A. MIBR are so concerned, and that does damage and also gives info. Yeah, Gabs wants to fight it. Going forward, and that's clean. Another easy entry. This is so smart, by the way. Look at how passive Fury are playing. MIBR, make your move. Because the pressure is on them. But as soon as I say that, you've got to be careful if the bomb does reroute over towards A. Because the stack is in place and it is not moving. I mean, it's the right move from MIBR. They, they know that they have no space over towards B. They can't afford to rotate at this stage. Uh-oh. Time and time again, it's come to A. And it's going to come to A again. Izzah can still be the undoer on her leg. But not if they don't make it through. Kiss is spotted. She can take first contact. Then Babs can switch in. Nice flash, but they can't find the kill. Gabs has found another double kill. Three in the round. Gabby comes over the top. And Danny falls. Furia bursts through A. Outlast MIBR and take the series. Yeah, it really was a war of attrition, wasn't it? Be able to give full credit to MIBR. The fact they're able to recover on that CT side, the fact they're able to steal so many rounds away from Furia, it looks incredibly competitive.